Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Poison Akami here. Me, myself and I are back again with another video. And today's video, I'm going to be doing a complete combo guide for Naruto Storm Connections. So in Naruto Storm Connections, there is cases where now we can do combos a lot easier, but I appreciate that there's a lot of newcomers coming to Storm and I'm getting a lot of questions left, right and center about how to do combos with certain characters. So this guide is going to teach you very informatively and relatively quickly on how it all works. Because trust me, is actually very different to Storm 4 now. What better way to go through it than with the new Naruto and Sasuke skins, the pre-order bonus skins. You gotta love these ones. All right, let's uh, go over the three types of combos. So there is a neutral combo, which usually ends in blowing up the opponent and sending them back like so. You cannot convert or combo off this at all. There is the down combo. Down combo is when you hold the analog stick down like so and then there is the up combo here like so where you can do that as well and send them up into the air now in storm 4 i think people could rebound out of air combos uh sorry up combos but i don't think uh they can anymore so obviously this is oh wait no okay so some up combos can some can't so there's something to bear in mind of certain characters because i know like kidamaro for example you can't rebound out of those up combo but it seems like out of some of these you can so that's fair and then there is the air combo, so you do this while you're in the air, and then you can actually dash and convert into a ground combo off this as well. So those are your basic three combos as to how it all works, and now I'm going to get on to the next segment. So once you've figured out the three combos of a character and what they will look like, now is your next time is to basically find your infinite in uh, your character's combo. So every character has an infinite in their combo. So basically, Naruto has one here in his... Was a fifth circle hit? Let me have a look. So it's one, two, three, four hits. In four circle hits, you can do this over and over and over again. Now, bear in mind, the more you do this, as you can see, damage scaling is hitting in on Delta, and there's less and less damage being done to her health as I am doing this. Obviously, this is for balancing purposes because of just generally how the subs work. Uh, but yeah, I'll be making a video about subs in the future in case you want to know more about substitutions. So once you found your infinite, that's basically when you want to look at implementing things like attack up kills and then continuing again. Not only that, but infinite stuns are also long enough just for you to do pretty much anything. Now, there are different types of infinite stuns, which I'll go over in a minute, but let me show you all the possibilities that you can go off with Naruto. So infinite can involve doing this. Infinite can involve doing a ninja move into pill. It can also help with applying a tag as well. And you can also ninja move into an ultimate jutsu. Now, you actually don't have to ninja move into an ultimate jutsu in this game. You can literally just do combo into ultimate jutsu like you would in Revolution for those of you that used to play Naruto from Revolution and learned about that new style of cancel. As you can see with all those combos, they only did one bar of health because of damage scaling. As you can see, you can just do that there. So then we call that a rev cancel when you just do an ultimate jitsu off of the combo. So that's just triangle, triangle, circle or your mid combo. And as you can see here, the damage will actually be that of a regular jitsu, an ultimate jitsu. Uh, because uh, they've no longer nerfed revolution cancels anymore. Not only that, but uh, if you're finding that a character sometimes struggle doing infinites in some places. So Sasuke, for example, um, he has an infinite here. So as you can see, his infinite stun is actually different to Naruto's stun. Um, if you want to do like a longer combo, you can just jump chakra dash. Or, I mean, rather, I guess you can just do regular chakra dash now because jump chakra dash doesn't really matter. So, if you want to do like long combos and we'll keep them in long combos, then just chakra dashing anywhere in the combo. As you can see, like this, this is where chakra dashing is implemented. But yeah, let's talk about the different types of infinite stun. So, there is the crumple state, which is what a lot of us call it. We call it crumple or knockdown or fall down. Basically, it looks like this when they're brought to their knees and they fall down to the ground like such. And then there is like the regular like infinite stagger. So infinite stagger looks like this. I canceled a little too late there, but it's basically when Delta staggers like that. And then you can just do that over and over. Again, you can do the same type of stuff. But th there is a difference between these two infinite stuns. So the difference between these two infinite stuns is that um, the, the crumple stun lasts way longer than this. So if you look at the amount of time spent, for like, what, a second there? Where the crumple stun is like one, 
two seconds, maybe almost two seconds. Whereas Sasuke's, like I said, is very short. So you need to act fast with Sasuke's one. And then let's talk about uh, converting off of air combos. So not every character in the game can do this, but a lot of the characters can do an air combo, dash, and then continue their combo on the ground again. Do you know some nice little style thing like this as well? Go back into an air combo. And continue. So there's different actually types of fall downs with this. So there is the straight fall down where you can just chuck a dash and you'll pick them up, pick them up instantly. Uh, and then there's Sasuke's version where they roll down. Now when they roll down, you can still, if you chuck a dash too fast, you can still pick them up in the air again. So this isn't entirely ideal. So what you want, because yeah, sometimes you want to do an air combo, right? Because you can't be equipping your pills and stuff in the air. So if you catch them in an air combo, you want to wait a little bit and then dash. Like so. If you wait a little bit and then dash, and then you can go back to the ground again. So, so that is the segment of pretty much learning infinites and then chuck dashing within combos and how to extend your combo. So basically what you want to do is with whatever characters you're playing, you basically just want to go through the character and find where the infinite is. So what I did when Storm Connections come out is I picked characters and then I would just test infinites like such. So I'd actually turn off the uh, the guard because it's very obvious when the stun is finished because they stand back to neutral. So what I would do is I do one, no infinite, two hits, no infinite, three hits, no infinite. Okay, Sasuke's got an infinite on his fourth hit and I figure it out that way. And then I continue, I'm like, okay, does he have an infinite anywhere else? Nope, he doesn't have an infinite there. And no, he doesn't have an infinite there. This is where a different type of infinite actually matters. So he can actually launch the enemy into the air. So. Obviously, just regular jumping ain't gonna work. You can actually extend this by uh, jump chakra dashing like so, and then you can force them into a juggle state. And then by forcing them into a juggle state, if they pull their supports, if it's an air support, you are forcing it to come in the air, so be aware of that. Um, but there is a thing called hollow stepping, which I do have a tutorial on hollow stepping back in Storm 4. So if you guys wanna watch the hollow stepping tutorial, you're welcome to. There aren't a lot of characters that have this like type of stun, but um, yeah, no, if you want, if you really want to, you could just do a hollow step like this and you can try and get a nice reset. Uh, there is also the up combo as well for Sasuke. He grabs them and then does like a little bounce with them. So you can do that into air combo and then dash back into the ground. Or if your timing is good enough, you can actually do a nice little ground reset like that. But the timing is very strict as you can see. So if you want to do Sasuke's infinite, but yeah, this is EMS Sasuke, by the way. But yeah, with your characters, you do just want to find the infinites very carefully. As you can see, Naruto has the crumple right there. Crumples are actually very useful because they have a distinct sound effect. It's like a very bassy hit. If you listen out for it, you can actually hear it in a lot of... So you can hear it when I did a full combo too. So there is that to consider also. So I'd actually say that crumpling stun like or the falling stun is the best type of infinite stun. There are actually like a couple more variants of infinite stuns, uh, but you will find those in other characters like Shikamaru's up combo, uh, where he throws the kunai and the kunai drags the opponent back, has one of is probably one of the best infinite stuns in the game uh, next to crumpling. Uh, just like a little FYI. Once you figure that out, this game is very jutsu heavy. So then you want to look at figuring out how to implement uh, like jutsus to your combos. So the simple act of just cancelling, you can cancel your combos anywhere. So anywhere you want, you can just land a combo. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to turn on the block just for some realism now because I'm going to show you that you can't just do it anywhere in a combo. So Naruto is actually pretty forgiving in terms of where he could land his uh, Rasengan. You know, you can do it like pretty much anywhere because uh, you can cancel into Jutsu instantly now, which isn't something that was done in Storm 4. Um, so, you know, that's always something to consider. So you can just about do it on the second hit. You can pretty much about do it anywhere as long as you're fast enough and you're doing it at the end of like a hit animation. Obviously, if you're doing it from behind as well, that's always good. <clears throat> but uh, you wanna, this is where you want to look at being careful with some jutsu. So this jutsu here has slower startup. The startup of this jutsu takes longer than a Rasengan, so she, you won't land it if the opponent is blocking. So you need to use this on Naruto's crumple stun. There you go. And then you can actually cancel this with a chakra dash. Now some jutsus can be cancelled with chakra dash, some can't. 
Um, so again, it is worth just having a look at what can and cannot be. But yeah, there you go. You can do that there. Uh, you can also cancel them by blocking as well. Like that. Block. And then you can continue. So yeah, be sure to take a good look at your jutsus and just try chakra dashing through them. Some of them you can't chakra dash to like the very end. Like Sasuke's for example. So like... I'll do his uh, Inferno style, and I'm spamming, I'm spamming Chakra Dash, and he only does it during the ending frames. So, where uh, Naruto, he can do it like pretty much anywhere. So just bear that in mind when you're trying to cancel your jutsus. But yeah, back to the important thing. So look at where you're implementing them carefully. So what you can do here is that you can do this, a purple pill, do a defense down, and then go into the next character. This would be like the main cause of doing a, uh, you know, a leader switch off of these as well. And by using your jutsus in combos, is to do big damage in combos like this one. And obviously you can do all that damage in such a short amount of time, which is actually quite crucial for a game like Storm Connections. And then we can take a look at Sasuke's ones as well. So as you can see, I can't just throw that in anywhere. But in the little electric bit, I can throw in that there as well, which is pretty good. And then the same for this as well, Inferno style. I've got to be careful on where I'm doing the Inferno style. So we can do it off the electric and continue. Technically, you can do an infinite off this, but this costs chakra. And I'll show you something in regards to the chakra. So even though I'm doing this a lot during the combo, as you can see, my chakra is going down. And when I'm hitting circle, the chakra bar comes up extremely slowly. It only comes up fast if I jump out of the combo, like this. So, if I'm doing this, I can use the infinite stun there as a way to get chakra back slowly, as you can see. So that's something to bear in mind about using jutsus within uh, your combos. But yeah, jutsus within your combos is really good. Even using support jutsu, so summoning Naruto's uh, clone jutsu like such, really good. Gives you a lot of damage there, and then you can continue on your combo, which is very, very useful. And now I'm going to talk about the final thing about combos, about knockbacks. So certain hits and combos and certain jutsus and whatever can now cause certain hits. And what these hits do is that they provide knockbacks that can and cannot be converted off of. And I think this is something that a lot of people are getting confused about. So I'll be sure to teach you about knockbacks and how to convert and where not to convert. Um, so basically, um, there are knockbacks that you can convert off of, like the tumbling knockback. This is very similar to Sasuke's air combo. It's like a rolling or a tumbling. If they're rolling or tumbling, that means you can convert off of it. No matter how far across the map they go, as long as you can catch them, you can pick them up uh, pick them up with a chakra dash. Or if you're very close to them, you can pick them up with a combo, like such. Now, another type of knockback uh, would be if I just use Sasuke's... As you can see, she can actually just rebound up the end of that and I can't even convert either. Like, as you can see, I'm trying to chakra dash on her. I'm not picking her up off the ground. Um, so yeah, so Inferno so I can do it with, but the Susa now, they, you have no luck at doing it whatsoever. So make sure that when you're doing combos, that you're using combos, uh, jutsus that you can actually um, do get good stun off of. It's the same with the Rasengan. So the Rasengan actually causes like tumbling stun. So I'm able to do this and then continue the combo as long as I'm fast enough. I was too slow there. As you can see. There you go. So that is just a small thing to consider is the different types of knockbacks as well. It's the same with like um, up combos. So obviously it's knocking them into the air and they have a set amount of time before they can recover. So you basically want to make sure that you dash at them before they can recover. Wait for the knockback and then convert into ground with Sasuke. And then you can do your really cool combo like such. You know, this is the character specific thing. So just as an example, I'll go ahead and treat you guys to three more characters. Okay, so the reason why I picked these characters is because it's to show you what they can and cannot do. So like everybody else, Kisame has an infinite. He has an infinite there. Has one there as well. He's also got an infinite in his up combo that you can juggle off of as long as you can catch them. Anyways, more importantly, um, he has an air combo that you can't convert off of. You cannot convert off this, and neither can she sweep off of his. No matter how fast you dash, or even if you add a bit of patience to it as well, 
you, you just you just can't convert off of it. I'll demonstrate Kisame's one more time. Wow, he can't even land a Jitsu. Uh, where a Jiraiya, you can. So make sure that when you're building teams, you have somebody that can actually convert off of air combos. So yeah, with, with Jiraiya, as long as you're fast enough, you can do that. And then you can convert as long as, like I said, as long as you're fast enough with these. If you're struggling to do that combo with Jiraiya, uh, what you can do is that you can bounce them off the ground. Fireball and then dash again. So yeah. So that's just like a little showcase about air combos, just reminding you that some characters can and cannot. And like I said, with Shu Sui, if you want to find his infinite, you just look very carefully. So that's got a lot of stun to it, but you cannot convert because of how far away Shu Sui is from the opponent. So it's a lot harder to convert, even if you want to do like a hollow step. Like I said, if you guys want to learn how to do a hollow step, make sure you check out one of my tutorials on Storm 4 about hollow stepping. But yeah, this flame here, that has infinite stun, so we can do an infinite here. With Shisui, nice and easy. There you go. So that is pretty much the whole combo guide in terms of how to extend your combos with characters. At first, you want to pick your character. You want to look at how their combos look. Then you want to try and find the infinites. And then you want to learn about the different type of knockbacks. And this video will help you do that. Anyways, as always, it's been your boy Poison Akami. Done it.